All right, so I've got a request to do Dead or Alive, but the volleyball, I don't have that game. So here's Dead or Alive 3, the fighting game. And apparently it has the same engine. So my original Xbox, it has the Pound HD link adapter. And then I have the Pound going into an HDMI splitter, the M Classic coming out of it so it can upscale the image and then on the other side of the splitter will be what you see in here picture in picture the smaller image there in the corner of the screen so this corner is actually the cleaned up version and I'm gonna remove my camera connection and show you the original and then the cleaned up again the game is only 480p it does not support 720p but it does support widescreen so I've already got it all set up. Again, my HDMI splitter, M Classic out of it, and then the regular version. And I have it into my picture in picture box, which is right here. So I'll be able to switch the source uh, back and forth and you'll be able to see if it cleans up enough for you. So I'm gonna remove the camera. Plug in the game. There we go. I'm gonna change the the mode. That's stretched. It's for like computers. There's a side by side. I don't particularly like it because it makes it smaller. So I'm gonna go to a full screen mode. And this is the original. Uh, 480p coming out of the um, the pound and then if I switch over and clean it up with the M classic you can see kind of a side-by-side -side comparison as I flip back and forth it cleans up those jagged edges uh, quite a bit I'll go into the game here in just a second but let me um, show some of the intro here Then I'll switch it over. See, this is the original. And that's the cleaned up. You can see it in the title. Like, it's harder, when I guess, when it's moving to tell the difference. But I do see uh, quite a bit of difference. Now, it's not like night and day. Here's the original. See, here we go. Here's some... And what I'll do is I'll, I'll go into where it's like still and it's not moving around. This way you can see it better. But again, this is the original. Here's the cleaned up. Which in some spots it actually looks uh, quite a bit better than... Here's the original. Here's the cleaned up. Right, I'll just push start and let me see um, I've already went to the settings and changed uh, because like the brightness and stuff like that uh, the gamma it really is what it was because it was kind of dark so I'm gonna see if I can go into uh, sparring mode yeah this is going to single battle I've never played this game before, so I don't know who to select, but just to make it quick, because I have pink hair, she's got purple hair, <laughs> I'll select that. And uh, let me switch it back. Here's the original signal. Uh, on this screen, you don't see a major difference. Um, you can see a contrast difference, and it does clean up a little bit of the edges, but this screen isn't that bad. Uh, when it comes to jagged edges and pixelation. Here, I'll switch it. So here's the original. So I'll go ahead and select the player. Uh, costume 1, Costume 2. I'll just go with Costume 1. Versus... Here, sure. Okay. Let me switch it. See, here's the 
original signal. Here's the cleaned up. But again, I've never played these games. This was actually, I had a, a friend of mine from work, he gave me a, just a handful of games. Because he got rid of his Xbox or his sister took it, I don't remember. But Let's go with, I'm trying to look for one that has like a lot of edges and stuff that would clean up well. Let's go here. Alright, so we're on the cleaned up version. Here's the original. You look at the background buildings. You see the edges are kind of jagged and, you know, low resolution. Uh, look at the floor, the blocks, uh, the character. Uh, look, at the, look at her legs. You can see the jagged edges on the outer and the inside of her thighs. Look as I clean it up here. Look at the floor, how it's it man, this does a nice job. <laughs> Let me see if I can turn around here. I'm not gonna be playing the game, but here's the original again. Uh, look at that wall in the background, that pretty much a straight line, how it has the stair step edging. I'm gonna switch it back. See so how it smooths that out. Now you can see a little bit of ghosting there. And a lot of people notice that as well. For some people, it doesn't matter. I don't really notice it during gameplay. I do know it's there because I see it. You know, I'm you know switching back and forth between the signals. But during gameplay, I really don't notice it unless you really look for it. So for me, it doesn't bother me. For some people, it may. And it's definitely not a deal breaker for me. I, I like the M Classic. I'm not being sponsored by them in any way either, uh, by the way. Again, this is the original signal. Here's the cleaned up. And the M Classic will take the 480p signal and it will upscale it to 1080p. And so that's what you're getting here. Uh, this game looks like it's 60 frames uh, going by the movements how smooth sometimes I get thrown off and I can't tell but here's the original and then look at the background edges again you can see a contrast difference as I switch it over and so here what I do is I quit, I go to another stage. I'll do another sparring just so I can show you. Let's go with uh, Jin Fu, looks like Master Roshi. <laughs> Let's go with the uh, costume too, just cause. All right. I'm gonna switch back. Here's the original. You know, you can kind of see a, uh, a green edge around the character. Like they were modeled with a green, a green screen background, sort of. And the game removes it, and as I clean it up, it goes away. Like, look on uh, Bayman, look on his ear, you can see kind of that green. And that could be maybe the pound cable, its color is off. It could be where it shifts it a little bit, maybe, because I do know the pound isn't the best, um, but it works for me. I don't seem to have any issues with it. And plus I use it with the M Classic anyway, so I don't see the, let's go with, uh, yeah, let's, let's see here. Yeah, let's go with the beach. All right. 
This is the cleaned up version. Look at the shadows of the palm trees. And now here's the original palm trees. Uh, they do get cleaned up just a little, but that's not a major difference. Uh, you can actually look at the, uh, the palm tree itself, uh, the characters. You see how 480p cut out-ish that they look like. I'm going to switch it back and you see they get smoothed out quite a bit. So this definitely helps with playing games like this on a modern TV. Uh, this game looks pretty good. I would say the graphics on the game is similar to Gauntlet. Uh, Gauntlet is one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, Gauntlet Dark Legacy. Here's the original. Uh, look at the background. You know, I mean, you can definitely see it in the characters. So, I mean, I don't know what else to really say. But look at the background. And I'm going to switch it back over. See how it smooths out the, the rooftops of those houses, the palm trees. They get a little bit better edge cleanup. See if I switch it around. Over here, see the umbrellas. Watch them get a little bit jaggier as I switch back. So look at that. It basically it, it looks like it adds definition. I know Marseille in the M Classic they advertise that it gives more of a depth um, perception to the image, but until really noticing it, <laughs> I never really considered it. <laughs> so here's the cleaned up version. And it could be just a contrast enhancement, you know, aside with, you know, in conjunction with some sharpening. And that's why you get the, like, the little ghost, uh, ghosting halo around the edges. But make sure you turn your TV to game mode. Turn down the sharpness to zero. Because that's where you want it. If you don't like it at zero, trust me, you'll get used to it and you'll prefer it. I used to always have the game on almost fully sharp. Here's the original mode. Because I always thought that that was better. I sharpened the game and once I hit it to zero, because I watch, um, what is that channel? Man, I can't think of the name right now. <laughs> but they do, uh, they do a lot of uh, analyzing of the games and they got a nice intro to their, their music. Man, it's throwing me off. But anyway, they, they talk about doing setting your TV to zero uh, when it comes to sharpness. And I just listened to them and I tried it and at first I didn't like it, but now I do. So Here's the cleaned up. Look at the palm tree. You can see it's not perfect, but it does uh, smooth it out uh, a decent <laughs> amount. Because you see how jagged it is here. So let's stop that. Let's uh, quit. Let's check out. Let's check out another one. I don't know how well the snow stage would look um, as far as seeing a difference, but you know, let's let's go and check it out. Sure. And I'll go him. Oh, of course. He'd have clothes on for. Or costume number two. So, snow. Wow. Or how about... Oh, that's grassy and... Let's go with this. I want you to be able to see more of a, of a difference. And finding the best one can show you. So, Here's the cleaned up mode. Here's the original. Let's see. Oh, look at that. There's some background over there. Background's not that bad in original mode, right? Let's clean it up. Sure does add some sharpness to it. Some contrast. Of course, look at the characters. You know, I say that on all of them. Here's the original, and you can see it how around their legs and their shirt, their arms, everything. They're just like cut out and it's like jagged. And then when I 
go to the cleaned up mode here it is looks pretty good actually it looks really good <laughs> The, uh, original mode look at the arches cleaned up so there's not much to this stage so I'll go ahead and quit that Why did that intro have a, a F0 um, look to it when that kind of moved over? There we go. Just quick selection. This one seems kind of simple, so I don't know if I want to so like that, it has a lot of straight lines. I mean, let me show you. See, here's the original mode. And here's the cleaned up. Original, cleaned up. Let's check out the snow. I don't know why, but I just want to see if there's quite a bit of difference. Here's the original. I mean, that was the cleaned up. Here's the original. I knew what I was looking at, but I said it wrong. Here's the original. Man, their their character models are pretty jagged. I don't know how much you can see that, but with YouTube compression. But man, that's pretty jagged. Now I'm gonna clean it up. And even look at her uh, the tassels. Watch that as I go back to original mode man <laughs> it's quite a bit of difference now as far as the um, the background goes the snow it's I guess this one masked it pretty well so here's the original mode I'm gonna switch it back so here's the cleaned up so it does make a difference but I mean with this stage with the uh, the foreground snow and all that the layering it's hard to tell on some of it, but here's the original, I guess, through the, the little water uh, melt way through the center. You can tell there. Look at the edges. And then here it is cleaned up. So, yeah. Let's see. Uh, I'll go to a... Just a watch mode, right? So have I not selected? All right, let's go with that. Christy. I right, go to costume two. And I haven't selected the ice stage. What do they call that? Ice cave. Forest. Or lost world. And that's like, was that the first one I selected? Or was that, in the, that was in the intro. Danger zone. Octagon. Let's go here because of the, um, the contrast, Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's go here. I want to go there. Because I think the, the contrast, this is the, the upscale. Here's the original. Maybe it's a little too fast, right? <laughs> Here's the scaled.
You know, I don't know what Marseille, I don't know what their official wording is for the upscaled version. I don't know if they call it scaled or upscaled or they just say, here's the 1080p and the original. They should have like, they should come up with a, a, a specific name for it, what they would call it, other than just something generic, you know, like Marseille mode. <laughs> Here's the cleaned up. So yeah, this one's a here, uh, uh, oh, camera type. Oh, is that where it's at already? That's a pretty good stage. <laughs> Here's the original. Here's the cleaned up. Yeah. It's quite a bit of difference. It's to me it reminds me the cleanup mode. It reminds me of how Gauntlet looks when we did our gameplay on the channel here. That's what it reminds me of. Original mode. Upscaled. Alright, let's quit. So, I'll go back to watch mode because of the movement. So here we haven't selected her yet. And I haven't selected him, so. I'll probably be closing out the video here in a second. I just want to get some of the stages that I haven't tested out. So where's the the ocean one? I think that one will be pretty good. Aqua Palace. Oh, did I select the wrong mode? <laughs> Here's the jagged original mode. <laughs> and scaled. Yeah, I selected the wrong mode. But uh I'll do one more. Yeah, I select the watch mode instead of sparring mode. Okay, um, Brad. And who did I? Leon. All right, let's go there. And I will go with this one, Lost World, Dinosaur Land, I guess. <laughs> and this is the upscaled. And here's the original. And peace, love, and happiness, right? <laughs> Alright, so, um, yeah, there's not much as far as the background. I mean, it's going to smooth out those mountains. Here's the cleaned up mode, upscaled. Here's the original. Cleaned up, original. <laughs> so, yeah. That guy, he's tripping me out. <laughs> cleaned up. Original. <laughs> Clean.
cleaned up. Yeah, look at the mountaintops. It, it cleans up pretty well. So, uh, <laughs> I'm going to switch over here. And I'll switch the modes out. Get my picture and picture back. Put my camera back in. And there's the game. Source. Yeah, I did. There we go. All right. So I'll leave it with this, you know, side by side. So here you go. That's the game, uh, upscale. Again, it was 480p. It does not support 720p. When I set the console to 720, I just got black screen. And then I looked online to confirm it's a 480p game. Uh, maybe the volleyball version has a 720p, but this one doesn't. And the M Classic, that's what it does. I went into, I used the Pound HD adapter for the original Xbox. I go into an HDMI splitter, M Classic in stretched mode, I guess, if that's what you want to call it. The game supports widescreen, M Classic supports 16x9 and 4.3. So it's in the 16 by 9 mode. Because if the game was 4.3, M Classic would stretch it. So it's a good thing the game supports it. This way I can keep it in widescreen mode, uh, which is preferred for those games. And so the other end of the splitter is the original mode, then non-scaled. And it goes into my picture-in-picture -picture box. And I'm able to switch the sources, and that's how you see this here. And it goes out into my capture device, which is the right here, Avery Media Live Gamer Portable 2, straight into my micro SD card and then out to the TV from there. So surprisingly, with all that, I don't get all the lag, but you know, I've already, I think I've done a video on my setup before, so I'm not really gonna get uh, all into that, but that's what I'm working with and that's what I'm doing. And so that's how I'm able to get picture in picture without editing, because this is just one file straight recording. So thanks for watching. Uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. If you have any questions, you know, you have any requests, I'm off on the weekends. Uh, right now on my schedule, I'm off Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And so sometime in there, I may be able to uh, squeeze in a request. You know, this video wasn't meant to be this long, um, but I figured, you know, why not make the best of it and just try out everything since there's only one game. So I don't have that many games uh, real quick I got you know Simpsons Hit and Run, Road Rage, NBA Jam, Gauntlet Dark Legacy, Crazy Taxi, of course Dead or Alive 3 I got some R um, arcade midway classics and some a uh, few other games in there but I don't have that much but if you have any requests and I have the game or something similar I can test it out for you so leave a thumbs up thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video